Jeff Bush joins us now to discuss how a shorter time frame for getting tax reform done could play out in the days and the weeks ahead. He is a partner with the Washington Update. Jeff, welcome back. Nice to see you again. So nice to see you, Sue. Handicap this all for us. Elon really laid it out beautifully. Um, do you think they'll be able to do it? And, and what are the obstacles as you see them? Well, I think she certainly laid it out perfectly. I think that's the exact issue. I think the election results from yesterday is a momentum play towards getting something done yet this week. But you can't deny the numbers. Uh, the numbers state that it, it must not exceed $1.5 trillion over that 10-year mark. And right now, the CBO is scoring it higher than that. So they're going to have to make some changes. In addition to that, we anticipate the Senate plan coming out tomorrow. And early reports are that there are going to be some pretty significant differences between the House and the Senate plan, which and, will have to be reconciled. And how, how much more complicated does that make this whole process? Well, it certainly does. You would think that the gang of six, after working on this for nine months, would have had time to reconcile those before the bills came out of committee. But it doesn't appear to be the case. So that is concerning for the Republicans that there is disparity in those two bills. Obviously, those have to be reconciled before it can hit the president's desk for signing. Now, the election results of yesterday, does that give momentum to one side or the other in this whole process or not? I think short term, as I mentioned, it's a momentum for the Republicans to say a wake up call to try to get something done. Obviously, they were feeling a tremendous amount of pressure anyway. Now, the Democrats certainly should celebrate the results of last night, but they need to put that in perspective as to what that uh, really meant last night. They won the governor's office in a blue state and a purple state that's been hewing more towards blue anyway. So I think it is certainly a big evening for the Democrats, but I'm not necessarily putting that forward to 2018. Mm -hmm. What about the market and its reaction to it. If we see a stall, as you mentioned, the Senate plan is going to come out, then they have to reconcile. There are going to be differences. Are you anticipating increased volatility in the market as that reconciliation process can, goes through or perhaps not? Well, I think definitely, Sue, I think there will be. Anytime you're doing a large piece of legislation, and certainly tax reform is a huge piece of leg legislation, that bill will go through a period of life and death throughout that process. And that, in essence, means more volatility in the marketplace. Which means we'll be talking to you again soon. Jeff, thank you very much. I Jeff look forward to it. I do too. Jeff Bush with the Washington Update.